Japanese roboticists have been leading the way in realizing the aspiration to create robots that offer companionship to humans for decades. Japan set a plan that by 2025, every household will embrace a robotic lifestyle that entails safe, comfortable, and convenient living with the help of companion machines. Let's look at some of the female humanoids that are talk of the town. Number 5. Ariza Ariza was named after the first letters of the words from Aruz Robotics Interactive Solutions Android. Ariza first made her debut in 2017, but it was in 2018 that she started her first trial run at two subway stations in Tokyo. It is the brainchild of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and a creation of Aruz Gaming and THK. Ariza is a six-foot-tall humanoid that comes with a touchscreen monitor and that will offer tourists directions and information, pose for selfies or even dance for them. She can speak English, Japanese, Chinese and Korean and her fashion is on fleek. The goal behind Ariza was to anticipate and cater for an increasing number of tourists that arrived in the capital with the summer games. Japan was dealing with a serious shortage of workforce so authorities were either looking to hire workers from other countries or turn to technology for help. Ariza fell under the latter category, obviously, and response to her in the first trial has been very positive. Takayuki Saito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of General Affairs then hoped that the future of urban operations will be AI-based. Number 4. Saya Saya was engineered by Japanese husband and wife team Teruyuki and Yuka Ishikawa. Saya was gently brought to life in their spare time as they attempted to balance commercial work and personal projects. According to the artists, the hardest part was achieving the moist, soft, and translucent skin of girls this age. The hair, they add, is not up to their expectations. When the couple first posted pictures of the hyper-realistic schoolgirl online, it was a revelation about what can be achieved with computer design. Her slightly askew school tie, heavily fringed hair, freckled skin, and teenage pout left thousands trying to work out whether or not she was a real person. Since then, the couple spent a year perfecting their creation, re-sculpting and molding her face, and then released a new and improved version of the schoolgirl. Saya had come a long way since her birth. In order to make her more human, they reworked her from head to toe. The reaction to the new level of detail seen in Saya has been almost universal astonishment. Saya was inspired by many girls that Mrs. Ishikawa saw around the area of Shibuya in Tokyo, a popular hangout spot for teenage girls. Her facial expressions, movements, and personality reflect those of a 17-year-old, though she has no specific age. As well as drawing her features with incredible precision, the couple also bestowed upon her all the qualities considered positive in Japanese women. She is humble and kind, a good student with a strong set of morals and ethics. They also focused on the Japanese idea of kawaii or being cute. She is the modern representation of kawaii. When the couple first started creating Saya, she was a side project destined to be a character in a short movie, but they were overwhelmed by the positive response when they first presented her to the public and saw her potential. The couple then decided to give up their day jobs and focus entirely on developing Saya. They hope that one day, Saya will be able to interact with humans, perhaps even being able to provide emotional support to those in need. According to the creator, the price for this special robot would be a whopping 5 million yen or $49,800. Number 3. Erika Erika enjoys the theater and animated films, would like to visit Southeast Asia, and believes her ideal partner is a man with whom she can chat easily. She is less forthcoming, however, when asked her age. That's a slightly rude question I'd rather not say, comes the answer. As her embarrassed questioner shifts sideways and struggles to put the conversation on a friendlier footing, Erica turns her head, her eyes following his every move. It is all rather disconcerting, but if Japan's new generation of intelligent robots are ever going to rival humans as conversation partners, perhaps that is as it should be. Erica, who it turns out is 23, is the most advanced humanoid to have come out of a collaborative effort between Osaka and Kyoto Universities and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. At its heart is the group's leader, Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Erika looks and sounds very realistic. Though she is unable to walk independently, she possesses improved speech and an ability to understand and respond to questions. 
for every utterance accompanied by uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression. Erica, Ishiguro insists, is the most beautiful and intelligent android in the world. The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, so he used images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on. That means she should appeal to everyone. Although the day when every household has its own Erika may seem way off, the Japanese have demonstrated a formidable acceptance of robots in their everyday lives over the past years. She will possibly be available for around $900 to $1,000 for the public one day. Number 2. Asuna Designed by Hiroshi Ishiguro in collaboration with the team at Tokyo-based A-Lab, Asuna is an android first unveiled at the 2015 Wonder Festival Winter in Chiba, Japan. Up close, she looks like an adorable 15-year-old girl, about 155 centimeters in height and weighing approximately 43 kilograms. In fact, this hyper-real robot is so incredibly human-like that even the reporter covering the convention got confused, mistaking it for one of the idols from the AKB48 band. Sure, you've probably seen pictures of human-like robots before, but the true charm behind this android lies in her movements. One would be blown away by the sheer naturalness of Asuna's mannerisms. From the way she blinks and squeezes her eyes shut, to the shape her mouth makes as if she were about to yawn, Asuna is truly on a different level from other androids. Some may feel like the secret behind Asuna's lifelike appearance has something to do with her skin. It's soft and squishy, instead of hard and apart from having no warmth, it actually feels similar to a real girl's ear. The folks at Tokyo-based A-Lab have been involved with many projects, of which Asuna is just one. They are in fact the same company that developed the Matsukoroid, another android that could be a carbon copy of Matsuko Deluxe, the plus-size Japanese TV personality known for its cross-dressing stage persona and deep voice. Number 1. Komodoroid and Otonoroid In what can be considered as a real demonstration of robotic news reading, Japanese scientists unveiled two new humanoids with newscasting capabilities. Komodoroid and Otonoroid were created under the leadership of Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at the Osaka University Graduate School of Engineering Science. The latter appears to be female, from the name to the looks, but the former has a rather gender-neutral name, although it is dressed as a female. Kodomoroid is the younger looking of the two androids. The name is a portmanteau of Kodomo and Android. Kodomo is a Japanese term for child. Kodomoroid appears to be an adolescent female with a youthful voice. During the demonstration, it delivered a news regarding an earthquake. It also read news about a raid conducted by the FBI. That's all for today. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching.